Welcome back to the Arbitrary YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful detachable puff sleeve. It's a detachable sleeve which means that you can actually detach it from your basic bodies and it's very very useful especially if you have many tube tops or strapless top that doesn't really have sleeve and you need to wear them with sleeves. So if this is what you really need to learn, kindly stay tuned and watch this video till the end. Thank you. Welcome back to the Arbitrary YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make a detachable puff sleeve. Okay, a detachable sleeve in which you can wear your dress without the sleeve if you wish to. It's very very simple to make and it really comes in handy. Maybe you have a tube dress that you have without sleeve and maybe you want to wear it to church or somewhere you just need to wear sleeve with. You can easily just use this okay so you can make this in a universal color like black that goes with almost all colors and then you can use this with your sleeveless dresses so to make this now i'll be working with this ankara african print fabric and this fabric is usually by 45 inches so i'll be using the length so this is on fold if i open it up like this i will have 45 inches so i'll be using all of that as my width and for the length, I have half yard of fabric here, which is 18 inches. So this is okay for me. This will be puffy enough. If you don't have up to that, you can use like 14 or 15 inches. But you have to bear in mind that this fabric is a puffy sleeve. This sleeve is a puffy sleeve and it's going to be having an elastic. So you need to create a casing for your elastic also. So you have to bear all that in mind when you're measuring the length of your fabric. So now I have a fabric of 18 inches by 45 inches to work with. This is not going to be having any handhold. So it's just going to be straight like that. That was why I said it is very, very simple. So to do this now, I have these two ends. The next thing for me now is to go over to my machine and create a casing to pass my elastic through. Okay, so I'm sure by now we know how to create our casing. So I'm just going to fold it tiny bit like this and then fold like a three quarter like this. And then I'm going to sew it straight. I'll do this on this side and also on this side. So by the time I do this now, I'm using about one and a half inches for this and one and a half inches for that. My length will go back to around 15 inches, which is still okay for me. So I'll take this to the machine now and create my casing. Okay, so I've gone ahead to create casing for both ends of the fabric now you can see. So now I'll take my elastic and pass it through it. So to know the amount of elastic you need to use, you just need to measure around your bicep or wherever you want to place this fabric, this sleeve, but usually it's on the bicep. So if you measure around your bicep and you take the measurement, you can deduct like two inches from it and then you cut it on your elastic. So you need, you need to cut like two of it or you can measure your round where your sleeve will reach okay so this is what i have i'm just going to cut it into two now and then i'll pass it through the casing that i created on both ends of the fabric so i'll keep passing it like that till i get to the end of it and then i'll bring it back to show us what we have okay so i've gone ahead to add elastic to both ends of the casing that i created and remember i said it's a puffy sleeve mm -hmm. so you can see how puffy this is turning out already and the akara is quite strong so it just helps it so now the next thing i'm going to do now is just to take this together now and then close it on this end so i'll take it to the same machine now and then sew this place closed completely Okay, so I've closed this now. Now I'm going to turn it over to the other side so that we'll see what we have. Okay, you can see our puffy sleeve is looking really big and puffy. Okay, this is the sleeve that we have. So now I'll take it to the mannequin so that we'll see several ways we can style it. But I may not be able to do much because I just made one of these because this is a tutorial. So if you're making yours now, remember you have to, so I'll just explain how you can style it. 
okay so assuming you have like a sleeveless dress like i just tied this around the mannequin now you can place this on your shoulder like this remember there's an elastic here which makes it adjustable and it's to just cover up for your sleeveless part it's to just make it look like it has a sleeve i can see the puffiness that we got with half yard of fabric this is really okay for me so now you can make it like a sleeve dress like this or you can make it in form of an off shoulder dress remember this one is full shoulder it's reaching the shoulder you can also style it like an off shoulder dress by just bringing this down you can also style it like an off shoulder like this okay so you can either bring it up or down depending on how much puffiness you want so you can see the versatility of this sleeve and it's very very simple to make so what i was saying assuming i made the other hand i can just make this one to have like shoulder and the other one will have will be half shoulder so it will just be like a mono strap there are several ways you can style this it's very simple to make and it's really beautiful so if you enjoyed this tutorial kindly give this video a thumbs up let us know in the comment section and i'll see you in the next one bye